What is the relationship in this graph? What do you notice? Both of them are different. What? Look at the graph. Do you notice any pattern here? What would happen if you connected those dots? We'd make one Go connect, go, go, I want you to go show me what the pattern is. Draw the pattern in there. Wait, so I just connect the dots? Well, I wouldn't connect all of them because then it wouldn't be a line. But just go draw a line through there. How do you do that? Oh, there. Wherever you think the line should go. It's pretty good. What do you think, Mr. Barry? So here, here's a question for you. What what is this what shape does this look like? If we had to call this a shape, these dots, what kind of shape does it look like to you? Describe the shape that the dots are making. What? Okay. Right. It's close to a line. Where we are here. So if we come across, how would I use this dot to find out what my diameter would be? Maggie, how would I use this dot to find my diameter? You just go straight across. So if I come straight across from where Caroline put her dot. No, it was Catherine. Catherine, but they're the same team. I, you can see that this moves over to here. We need to figure out what number this would match up with. Any ideas we're counting by? Six, twelve. Wow. Oh, look at that. I was right. You were right. You uh, what you did, Jake, is you doubled this one and did it in one fell swoop. But if you broke it down and looked at each increment and you were to measure it out. 48 would be approximate right now. Tell me what the diameter is going to be. Oh, cool. You do it on, you, you submit it in there, but if you need to see better, you can come up here. Yeah. So you want me to give you another guess? No. This time I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys work for this. I'm not just gonna give this to you. Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another one. The question this time is based off if the graph if I give you a diameter. So on the diameter, if I give you a diameter of should make it easier or hard, Mr. Barry. Ten? 10. Your diameter is 10. Now, don't use any of the of the uh, measurements that have already been put in. Like if someone put in 10, use what we've created here to help you. Refine your guesses. Okay, 10. So Do what? Circumference? Yeah. Putting in the circumference. These are your answers. 3.3, 3.6. Those are kind of small for a, uh, remember your diameter is 10 here. How so, could your diameter be less than your circumference? So what did you do? What did you, that 10? I mixed the, the things up. I, missed, I mixed up the diameter and the circumference. Ah, okay. yeah, you went off what we were doing so, before. We, we switched yeah. it on you. All right, yeah. so then we've got uh, five. Again, another one that is a little bit smaller. Someone here is still trying to take half of the circumference to get the diameter. Um, remember, we gave you the diameter this time. 20, 24, 25, 27, 30, 31, 31.4, 31 36, 37. I think we got a good range here. I, I really think, Mr. Barry, like plus or minus like these ones. Mm -hmm. All right. So what did you do in order to get these ones? I, if you look at the 12 and you go a little bit under that, then that would be the 10 on the chart. And then if you just move it over it so that it's in line with the diagonal line, Interesting. Now, Billy, you came up with what was your answer? That, sir, is exactly correct. How'd you get that? Huh. So, what are you trying to tell us here? I know, Mommy. The 